What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna... Okay, so this must be the room of Anime Warlord, because I see a bunch of weeb shit on his door, and it says, Warning, my lair contains lots of anime, and this sign says, Anime Heaven. <laughs> Mr. Anime Warlord, are you in? Who in the hell is that? Um, hello? Is anybody there? Hmm. Oh well. I guess not. Back to the video. Hold it right there, young man. I hear your name is Anime Warlord. Um, yeah. My name is Anime Warlord. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Why, my good friend? I am a dude who loves everything lewd. I love opai. I love hentai. I love etchy. I love stockings that are stretchy. I am what they call the cultured wizard. Wow! A cultured wizard? That That's awesome! Wait a minute. I have two questions, cultured wizard. Number one, why are you here? And number two, why are you wearing the infinity gauntlet? So, young mortal, your two basic questions have two basic answers. The first one you asked was, why am I here? Well, you see, young warlord, I have a manga request from me to you. And number two, why do I have the Infinity Gauntlet? Well, you see, I angered a Twitter user. It said that I like anime titties way too much, so the Twitter user cut off my arm. So, I stole this thing from Thanos as a replacement, and it works just fine. Well, I appreciate the fact that you're giving me a manga request to review, and before I get into your little request, how do I know that you're really a cultured wizard? I mean, can you perform magic? Hmm. Why, yes, I can. Watch this. Whoa. A Heaven's Lost Property mug? And there's water inside. Mmm. And it's ice cold, too. Wow. You really are a cultured wizard, aren't you? And now for my request. There you are. Do you like big girls? This is your request? Why, yes it is. Well, Mr. Warlord, I must be going now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that cultured wizard isn't such a bad guy. I wonder why he wanted me to review Do You Like Bocce Balls? <laughs> What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. And I have one question for you guys. Do you like big girls? Let's get into it. So, what is the plot? <laughs> plot to Do You Like Big Girls? So, Do You Like Big Girls tells a story about a guy named Sota right over here. And as you can tell, Sota is very short. His sister plays for a local university volleyball team. And Sota's sister just basically ropes him out to be the hall director or their coach for the varsity girls volleyball team. And while he's there, he sees his first love interest, this lovely voluptuous lady over here named Ayano. And they immediately recognize each other. And there's a flashback from eight years prior to their meeting again, because she's played volleyball all her life. And Ayano is actually on the rival team. So then Sota's sister has an idea in her head. She just goes, hey, Ayano, why don't you take my brother here, Sota, out on a date? And so the two go on a date. They have dinner. They talk for a little bit. And then they go to a love hotel. And then, oh boy, they start bumping uglies right then and there. So while at the Love Hotel, as they're bumping uglies and doing the hanky-panky, Sota confesses his love to Ayano, and Ayano's just all, eh, 
you know, I kind of see you as like a little brother, but we can hook up occasionally if you wish. And so it's like, so am I just going to be a booty call? Is is that where you're getting at? Am I just going to be a booty call to you? So after his one night stand with Ayano, Sota starts to discover what all of the other girls are about on the volleyball team. And once he figures out all of the other girls on the volleyball team, they start to fall in love with him and they start to have sex with him. And then next thing you know, Sota ends up with a harem full of big girls. And that's pretty much this manga in a nutshell. And honestly, this manga gave me major, and I really do mean major, Sekure vibes. Because think about it. M Minato was his Yeah, that's right. I'm right. Minato had a harem himself full of big girls. And now Sota has a harem full of big girls too but you know the two mangas could not be any more different and of course as the story goes on we start to learn more about the different girls in sato's harem and each of them have their own unique little quirks like one has glasses one is just about as short as he is short stack with a big rack like hana uzaki <laughs> and um one has a flat chest and just basically the list goes on and on. I really found this manga very, very entertaining. And I do hope this gets an anime adaptation sometime in the near future. I mean, I think I'm not entirely too sure how long this came out, but I know Japan made a live action adaptation of Do You Like Big Girls? But I do want to see an anime adaptation of Do You Like Big Girls? Because this well deserves an anime adaptation. It'll definitely be a masterpiece in the etchy harem genre. Because I can't show any of the details of the manga when it comes to the spicy stuff. But oh my god, the details on the boobs are just fantastic. They are absolutely fantastic. From the boobs themselves to the nipples. Oof, very good. And of course, when it comes to etchy harem titles... The number one question is, who is best girl? Now, at first I was aiming towards Ayano when I first read the story, but I feel like I want to learn a little bit more about her character before I give her a best girl title, because so far the candidate that deserves the best girl title is this character. It's this cutie right over here. The captain herself. Oh my god, what an amazing character. She's cute kind she's optimistic and she is totally hooked on sota without a doubt and take a look at this line over here i knew who you were the moment i saw you i'll wait as long as it takes for you to have me god damn that is fucking adorable and one of the funniest things that i find in do you like big girls is none other than sota himself why well if you ridicule him for his height well, let's just say he unleashes the beast. Yep. If you ridicule Sota for his height, he will basically go into full-on beast mode. Because when Ayano one night was looking for a booty call with Sota, she says, I'm all yours, shortcake. And then that just basically triggered him. And they just went to pound town like there was no tomorrow. And then after Sota came back to Earth, he's like, the fuck did I just do? I, I am so sorry. And then I was like, mm, you know, that's okay. You know, um, I've had my fun. Thank you. <laughs> so once again, I say, I do hope this manga gets a anime adaptation. It'll be one of the best etchy animes out there. Or if it gets a hentai adaptation, I don't care. You know, whatever adaptation it gets, I am going to completely support it 100%. And if you guys want a very good spicy manga to read, I highly recommend Do You Like Big Girls? It's chopped full of big fun. All right, you guys. So that was my manga review of Do You Like Big Girls? Do you plan on reading this manga yourself? Let me know in the comment section below. And this just about wraps things up for today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos when they come out. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys again in the very next video. Peace out. Boing, 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 boing. Boobies. Fear not, young mortals.
for I will return someday because I am the Cultured Wizard!